Here are solutions to the problems that were on the day three, day three, day two quiz um, in MyLabs Plus. Uh, the problems I think were randomly um, ordered, so this will be in whatever order you saw them in. Um, the main thing here is to um, to keep in mind that uh, the polynomial is always approximating the function. So the f of x in the problem is going to be approximately the polynomial for x near the center. So in this case, um, the uh, the center here is going to be 0 um, because we don't have any, you can see we don't have uh, x minus a to a power terms, which is just x to a power. So that means the center is 0. So, so this is what's going to happen. Um, but notice that f of x is the log of 1 plus x. So it's f of uh, 0.09 that's equal to the log of 1.09. So if I'm trying to approximate log of 1.09, that means I'm trying to evaluate f of 0.09. And the evaluation of f of 0.09 will be approximately p2 of 0.09. And that's an easy thing to plug into the um, formula um, for, uh, oops, give me a better color. Uh, there's the definition of p, and so um, that'll be 0.09 minus 0.09 squared over 2. So that calculation ends up being, uh, what is it, Point zero point zero eight five nine five. Um, and so that will be, um, that'll be our approximation of the log of 1.09. Now, it does ask for four decimal places, and just for clarity, when they talk about number of decimal places, um, they're talking about the number of places after the decimal point. Um, I don't know how standard that is in, in science, but that's what's happening here. And so they want us to round it off to four decimal places after the, after the, the point. And so since that next digit's a five, this one's going to be a little weird because that means this would go round up. And so rounded to four decimal places, this one would be like, like that. So that would be the correct answer for the box there. Um, some of you were doing the problem right and then um, were not paying attention to the rounding. Um, and when you answer questions in MyLabs Plus, of course, it, it cares because um, it has to base its answer on something. Um, because I can see your answers, it's not a big deal. I can check that uh, pretty easily, but um, I could imagine you would get frustrated if it keeps telling you you're wrong. Um, just because you haven't rounded correctly. Uh, the calculation of absolute error is um, just the, uh, the difference between the actual and the approximation. And so in this case, uh, f of 0 0.09 is natural log of 1.09. p2 is the number I just said. You want to use the exact value of that. And if you do that in absolute value, um, it actually comes out to be, let me see if I can count zeros here, 0, 0, 0, 2, 2, 7, 6, 9, 6 is what I get on my calculator. Um, once again, they're uh, challenging your, uh, your, your scientific bones here. They want this in scientific notation with two decimal places. And so um, if we move our decimal place, 1, 2, 3, Four, um, we can see moving the decimal place four would make this 2.277 times 10 to the minus four. They only want two decimal places, so the number I would enter here is 2.28 times 10 to the minus four. So that will be my answer for, for there. So that's what they mean by two decimal places in scientific notation. Um, this is what they mean by four decimal places for the original number. So for people that were just rounding wrong, I uh, try to make that comment um, when I move the grades over to um, D2L. But if you're not sure, just let me know and I can see what you actually wrote. Um, this one has a similar uh, issue with how it's set up. Um, again, f of x here is e to the minus x. And so if we're trying to estimate e to the minus 0.04 means we're trying to estimate f of 
right? So make sure you believe that f of 0 0.04 is e to the minus 0.04. And that's what I'm trying to estimate. Um, the theory of Taylor polynomials tells me that my f of x is approximately my polynomial at x. Uh, again, for x near the center, 0. And so um, I can approximate uh, f of 0 0.04 by plugging in 0 0.04 into my polynomial, and that's 1 minus 0.04 plus 0.04 squared over 2. And I did that somewhere. Um, I believe that comes out to be 0 0.9608. So for that particular number um, that was chosen, I know these are all random, but for that particular one, it actually comes out to be exactly four decimal places. I don't have to round anything for this one. Um, but if it gave you, if your particular value had more decimal places, you want it rounded correctly to four numbers after the decimal place, and that's what goes there. Um, absolute error is the exact value minus the estimate. And that's going to be, oh gosh, that's a lot of zeros. Zero, 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 zero. One, two, three, four zeros. One, five, six, zero, eight. In scientific notation, I can think moving one, two, three, four, five. So this is 1.056 times 10 to the minus 5. And again, if I only want two decimal places, the number that would go up here would be 1.06 times 10 to the minus 5. Um, the last question, um, once again, um, our f of x is approximated by p2 of x, but f of x is the square root of 1 plus x. So if I'm trying to approximate 1.09, that's going to be approximately P2 of 0.09. Plugging 0.09 in for x is what's going to make the, uh, the function be square root of 1.09. Uh, P2 of 0.09 is 1 plus 0.09 over 2 minus 0 0.09 squared over 8. And that is, I'll just go up. Um, what do I get? 1.04399. And so to my four decimal places, um, so another one is going to be weird because my fourth decimal place would be right here. So I got to go 1.0440 would be rounded correctly to four decimal places. So that's what's going to go there. And then absolute error will be just like the other ones. 1.09 minus that number in absolute value. Um, if you want to just check against mine, um, I get 0, 0, 0, 0, 4, 3, 1, 5, 0, 9. And scientific notation, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Scientific notation, this is 4.315 times 10 to the minus 5. And so I would be rounding that to 4.32 times 10 to the minus 5 for my answer that goes here.